Hello again guys, it's Sean here with Bumping Blogger. And today I'm doing sort of like a, I don't know how to describe it, it's like a my own personal physical TBR books that I will probably have to read because as well, basically like things are getting back to normal in the UK and things are happening so I might end up having more time to read my own books and less time with Alice reading books and everything and the babies and everything. So this is basically my physical TBR of books that are off our bookshelf. So I can refer to this whenever I want a book to read. So if you're not me and you're not interested in books that I'm going to be reading in the next year or two, feel free to quick click away. Alice has done some really good unboxing. She did a um, we've got a whole, we've got a book box haul coming up. No, we've got a, we've got a book haul coming up sh shortly. I'm not sure what day it is. Going to be, it's going to be Tuesday or Thursday, and it's going to have a cost breakdown of how much we spent in June, in in May, um, on books. And like, it's a, uh, it's going to be interesting. A bit terrifying, a bit humid, bit um, shade on ourselves, but it's be interesting. So without any further ado, let's just. Go for books. Uh, Star Wars, the right, yeah, Star Wars: The Mandalorian Armor by K. W. Jetta. The TV show was good. So I'm watching that. I'm reading that. Uh, God, Melodictions, Mel which is a collection of hot. Um, oh, what's the word? What's the fancy word for collection? I don't, I don't know what the word, is, but it's basically just a collection of collection of sh horror short stories. No, I like short stories. Short the better, normally you can get a lot of stuff in short stories. Uh, Michael Moorcock, uh, the Sorceress Sleeping. Oh, also, the Sleeping Sorceress. Uh, uh, Halo: The Contact Harvest by Joseph Stetton. Uh, some of these books are books from series that I read a long time ago and haven't actually caught up, like pre book two, pre pre Alice, and just just books for me to like keep myself accountable a little bit. And uh, hopefully, I'm going to start if all things go well. I'm going to start doing some more like individual book reviews, just to um, depending on how Alice is going to be doing with her booktube stuff. So yeah, you might see me reviewing some of these books. Uh, the Wicked and the Damned. Which again is a collection, I believe. So the collection, it's got three. It's got three authors, but it has lovely black emo pages, which is very cool. And some edgy skull skulls, which are always cool. Uh, the the slow, the slow regret of silent things by Patrick Rothfuss. Patrick Rothfuss, 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 Patrick Rothfuss. Um, I read a bit of The Name of the Wind. I'll probably read The Name of the Wind and this. But this is a nice short one and I, I like short books. They're nice and easy. It's a bit easy, especially with children running around and screaming. You're going to get a little bit of half an hour or so to yourself regularly. Uh, Drakenfrowls by uh, Kim Newman. Uh, this is the most recent edition. I think the editions are written under a pen name of Jack somebody. But badass Warhammer vampires. Super, super, like, dark and grim. Uh, 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea. This is a reread. It will be a reread. Because I read it a long time ago when I was very young. And, yeah, I think probably some more Jules Verne. It might be interesting to read that to the babies as well. Uh, some more horror. Different Seasons by Stephen King. Again, a collection of three... four... Five, four, four short stories. This has the um, the short track redemption in it. But yeah, be interesting. Uh, two thousand one, A Space Odyssey by Arthur C. Clarke. Again, a one of my favorite movies. There's two different film versions of the film. There's one as original cinematic soundtrack, and there's one as the um director's soundtrack. Just a completely different movie. I've never actually read the book. Fully, I've read bits of it. But, yeah. uh, 
Narconomics by Tom Wainwright. Um, I got this from my one of my old jobs. I got it like super duper new. Um, as you can see, I carried it around a bit because the cover started coming off, and I think this one has a bookmark. It yeah. Well, I didn't even get past the introduction. But yeah, like, and there's a book I should probably catch up on myself. Uh, Isaac Oz Isaac Asimov's the Prelude found the uh, Isaac Asimov's the whole Foundation series really. I read I Robot. I liked I Robot. It's like classic sci-fi. I like sci-fi. Uh, yeah. It's 460 pulp pages. That might take a long time to get through. With the bebs. Uh, Alternate Carbon by Richard Morgan. Yeah. Going to a Netflix TV show. Yes, it is Netflix at the bottom. But yeah, there's a semi steampunk, not steampunk, cyberpunk esque. Yeah, cyberpunk esque um, future dystopian. I like cyberpunk, the films, and the uh, pen and paper role playing game. Uh, Mirakami is what I talk about when I talk about running, which I think is a non fic about writing. I think it is. I don't know. Book two, eleven. We got this in the charity shop. It's a nice small book. Nice quick for those nice half an hour, forty-five minutes of time away from the children. Uh, Philip K. Dick's uh, Stimulacum. Stim. Stimulacum. I, don't know. I like Philip K. Dick. I don't think I asked for any of the books, but they're very good. I think most people have only read The Man in the High Castle because that recently got made into a TV show. On Amazon, I think. I don't know. Recently, I mean, like five years ago. Uh, uh, finishing off reading the Ender Games, Ender Games series by Austin Scott Card. Um, I think it's also the other series where it has been as the main character, which I haven't actually read anything about. Anyway, yeah. Uh, Optimism and Despair by Noma Kromsky. Nice short non fic. I like non fic a lot, especially political stuff. Uh, the Amazing More Recent Educated Rowants by Terry Pratchett, which I think would be a fun one to try and read to babies, but I don't know if they're old enough currently. Like, I kind of like this is like read it in the next year or so. I don't know how many books there are. There's a couple books. I might put a um, screen thing down here on the things. Uh, Tom Clancy's Red Storm Rising. I'm not sure I'll be able to get through this. This is a fat boy. I think it's over a thousand pages. Oh, it's not. It's only 800 and something. It's a, it's a big chunky boy. I think it's the second book that Tom Clancy wrote. Uh, Ring World by Larry Niveman. I think I have this in a different edition that my dad got me, but I've never actually read it. It has like a cat on the front. I don't know. I haven't been able to find it. I don't know if it's like a weird loose memory I have of something else. I'm just thinking of this. To Pixar and Beyond by Lawrence Levy. Again, non fic stuff. Uh, a couple more books. Uh, uh, Dirk Gently's Holistic Detective Agency by Douglas Adams. I read this one, or possibly The Salmon of Doubt. I'm not sure. I've read one of them, I think. I'm not sure. I think I've read... I don't know. Interesting. I, you know, catched up on my old, my old pre Alice TBR. Uh, think Like a Freak, which I think is the first one that people should be able to read in the Freakonomics series. I don't know. Money is important. Understanding it when you have a house and savings is probably useful. Thinking Like a Freak is by two guys, uh, Stephen D. Levitt and Stephen... Stephen? Yeah, Stephen J. Bugner. So I'll cut that in, maybe. Uh, yeah, the position, the 
Yeah, The Possession of Mr. Crane by Matt Haig. Uh, read, we've read Matt Haig's Possibly How to Stop Time. Uh, the Midnight Library and the Christmas Trilogy. Really like them. I don't know if I was actually interested in, interested in reading through these. But again, it's a nice short one. He's almost in the possibly in the novella. So he's like 210 pages. Uh, <laughs> again, this might take a long time to actually have to get enough time to, but the uh, the Final Empire series by Brando Sando. Um, I've been watching some of his live Q&A signings. I think that's what they're called. I just think he's quite interesting. I think you should probably actually start reading some of his books. So that's on my my future, very fu very close to being future, future TBR. <laughs> Possibly I think it's like the only middle grade is uh, The Contender in the Chosen series by Terem Mafaru. Um, I really like the Summoner series. I think that's what it's called. Uh, we saw him live in person just after this book came out and he got signed, which is nice. But just kind of like, this is, video is mostly, again, for me to catch up or to keep as a quick reference for books I should read because I just make loads of notes on my phone and then I make notebooks and I just don't really refer back to them. So maybe one day I'll start referring back to them. But that has been 26, 25, 26 books that I'm going to read myself over the next year or so. I might, might do a check when I finally finish these. Yeah, uh, things are changing for us, so we still want to keep the still want to keep it all up, but things are different as they always are. Uh, check around, stay, oh, stick, stick, oh, stick around for Tuesday's video because it's going to be exciting. So yeah, I will uh, see you guys later. Bye. To Pixar and Beyond by Larry Lawson. No. <laughs>